passionate with music ever since I was a little girl. I grew up in Paris. Soon after I moved to New York, I had my first band called The Crowd, and uh, we hired a band for a show that was pretty big for us. And uh, the bass player that we hired had to cancel at the last minute. So my bandmates looked at me and were like, hey, Adeline, you play guitar. Why don't you just play bass? They put a bass in my hand and my life changed that day. I fell in love completely with the bass. So singing at the same time was always part of my journey as a bass player. When I started doing that is when I really felt like I found myself as an artist for the first time. Started like a summer Nightshade is my production duo with Morgan Wiley, who also plays keys in my band. We work so well together that we, we decided to take this production that we create for my solo music to another place and, and start doing production for other people. I've always wanted to do that. Making music with Morgan is just the way that I like making music the most. To the twilight. Right into the twilight. This is the studio that we use. I mean, we got the Apollo X6, which a lot of people nowadays use the Apollo. It's a great interface. It sounds awesome. It has preamps as well, which sound great. And you can record in unison with a lot of their plugins. We have the Neve 1073 which is used mostly for Adeline's bass and a lot of my synthesizers as well, keyboards. Really everything, it's a great sounding preamp. Over here, it's like some more vintage gear that we like to use here. With this project in particular, the Space Echo, the classic. Yep. The RE201. Uh, never get tired of the sound of it. It's just a, it's a classic tape delay, a lot of people know it, with the spring reverb built inside and just, just recording stuff and running it through it just to give it like an extra sense of depth is mm -hmm. just amazing. This is the control room and then we got the vocal booth slash piano keyboard room in here. It's important to just have a, a nice room with a good vibe that's where everything's plugged in and easily ready to play. This is the U87, the Neumann, which is an excellent microphone. And then you got all the keyboards in here and they're all, one thing, it's, it took me years to just get it done, but to just have everything set up Turn it on, it's on, and it's already plugged in. This piano is interesting, it actually has pickups built into it, so there's a quarter inch cable coming out. And then I got the Wurlitzer over here, turn it on, ready to go. And then we have the Rhodes, a lot of like just your classic keyboards. We use the Prolog a lot too. This is a classic the Yamaha CS50, which is from like the 70s. It's a great, great synthesizer. Uh, and the Moog Opus up here. So all these things, you know, we use for different elements in production and songs and like depending on what it calls for. Something more vintage, it's a lot of that gear. Mm -hmm. Something more modern, we go to the computer or use some more modern synths like the Korg Prolog or, you know, what I have in the other room. This is um, my Sadowski Jazz Bass. I use that mostly for live shows. Um, I also use it on some recordings but it kind of depends on what sound I want. If, if I'm going for more um, funk bass line, like more modern funk or um, slap, I definitely use that one. This is the Fender American Professional 2, the brand new line from Fender. And I got a jazz bass for this because the neck was maple and I have a preference for maple neck. I can't find a way to Anterim is my latest EP that I produced with Morgan as Nightshade. Middle is the first single from Anterim. I didn't realize at the time, but thinking back on it, I feel like Middle was almost a little prophetic. It's a song about feeling caught in between two different things and, and not being able to get out of a situation and feeling stuck. The music informed the concept of the song. We came up with the beat and the bass line felt like this loop and this cycle that keeps you in a rhythm. It just kind of inspired the lyrics of the song. It felt like it needed to be something that was about suspension, about being stuck. It's drums, bass, guitar, one keyboard, which is a Rhodes, trumpet that comes in on the chorus, and a vocal, and that's it. The more you can say with less 
the better. We came up with this beat and Adeline quickly like found like a really dope groove on the bass. And it just, we didn't, for me, I never, I was like, we can never, we can never lose that pocket. Like that's yeah. the core. <laughs> This is the bass um, that I played for middle. It's the Fender um, P bass with flat wounds on it. I use this bass for most of our recordings. And I think this is like such a good example of like why flat wounds are so great. There's this kind of reverse hi-hat that gave like a particular groove mm -hmm. that to me is like, what some of my people say, like a clave kind of thing, where they have claves that no one really changes, messes with the clave and like a lot of like salsa or Latin music. It had that, not like it's the same thing, but it had that similar function. Yeah. Like everything had to revolve around that. So here's that reverse hat. Right, and then here's that with the beat. Yeah, so the idea of feeling suspended, I think, and you can kind of hear what Adeline was talking about earlier, and like, to me, I can hear that. Because there's such a, a contrast between the melody, which has longer notes, and the bass being like, mm -hmm. super pulsy. It really feels like the, the bass line is just keeping you in that loop. Um, and then the melody to me is like you're floating on top. There's the guitar. Yeah. Which kind of like is a little loose and does some call and response and a lot of like hooky parts. I think we can all agree that we have all, for the first time as a society, been forced to experience what life without life music is like. Um, and it's, it's very difficult. And I think that it's, it's all gonna work out for the best because people will appreciate it even more, how special and, and necessary it is. Maurice White from Earth, Red and Fire said, the realest thing about music that anybody could say. Music's supposed to feel good. And music is just salvation and it's an outlet and it's also a unifier. Mm -hmm.